Hello everyone, it's Dr. Brad from the Today and iPad podcast, and I'm going to show you a quick demo of the good, the bad, and the ugly of Apple's new feature, AirPlay. So if I open up the video player on the iPad, um, since I'm a dentist, I'm going to show you a nice little video on dental bondings, because I'm sure you all want to see that. Now if I click play on the iPad, as you can see, the video with audio and everything will play on the iPad. If I click the AirPlay button, and go to Apple TV, the video is then pushed right to my big screen TV with video. Now, the problem becomes, and I'll bring it back down to the iPad, is that when you go to Safari, okay, so I'll open up Safari, and I'm on a gadget site, a great, great gadget blog, and if I click play on a video in Safari, it'll play on my iPad. I'll still get the AirPlay button, and when I click Apple TV, here's the problem. The video continues to play on the iPad, but the audio plays on the TV. It's not pushing the video, it's just pushing the audio to, the, to my big screen TV. And that's a really big disappointment. All right, enough of that. That's a really big disappointment because a lot of people would really like video from Safari to be pushed to your TV so you can be surfing the internet and then boom you know you see a video and boom you want it on your Apple TV done so that's not a, an option with with um, AirPlay in its current state hopefully down the road Apple will change that but at the present AirPlay is very limited just like AirPrint so kind of a big disappointment but I guess we're just gonna have to see where Apple takes it anyway I'm Dr. Brad from the Today in iPad podcast Feel free to email me at todayinipad at gmail.com. Video reviews, app reviews, uh, questions, comments, you name it, email me. All right, have a nice Thanksgiving weekend.